you know those cotton, uh, like a Q-tip, but it has a little wood on it and a little cotton on the end? I use the back end of those to examine the teeth because the metal thing hurts too much. Because if I ever examine them, and I always save them out for the last, <laughs> because I, if, I, if I do that, the mouth first, they won't let me do anything else. So this is a dog. Oh, wait a minute. This is for you. What is that? Uh, right, that's the endotracheal tube going down. So that's what you saw on the x-ray. Remember it was about that diameter in relationship to them? So this is, this is a dog that's the before and after pictures. And you can pass that around that way. We have a question behind you, Doctor. Yes, yes. Um, well, um, my old dog, uh, that we had to put down because she was old. She used to chew on those chewy bones, you know, those hard bones that you used to chew on. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like The she, nylon bones or the raw hides? I think the raw hides or yeah. something. And like, she once got like a piece stuck, stuck in her throat of. and she was like, <sighs> but she like got it back down and you, like. You know, my dog does the same thing and he looks like a seagull sometimes, tall and that thing. And I'm just, and I have a question like, if it didn't go down, would it like, like she's dead right now because we had to put yeah. it down. But like, if it wouldn't have like gotten down, would it would would it have cut the inside? Yeah, would you, it, they're usually soft enough where they won't. They'll either usually throw them up or they'll swallow them down. Um, most of the time, they don't have a problem with them. Occasionally, if I had to reach down my dog's throat and pull it up because they didn't want to vomit on the floor, <laughs> but usually they get them down. They, my dog sits there and goes, and I could almost see him swallowing mm -hmm. it. It's kind of gross. So, but talking about that, as you pass that around, um, Dr. Walker had a client, a dog come in about a year ago that came in flat out, almost dead. And it was a three-year-old dog, and it was half dead, and she and it was acute emergency. They didn't know what was going on. So, the first things that you do when you have something that's like going to die is... Is about the three things. First three things. The dog comes in, he's four years old, like he shouldn't be dead, right? Or dying. And he didn't get it by car, and they don't know what's going on, and the dog's limp and they carry him in. So what's the first thing we do that begins with the letter A? To make sure this dog is doing. Airway, right? Make sure you get this dog some hot, like, you know, emergency stuff. So Dr. Walker took this dog downstairs. Airway is the first one. B, A, B, C. Breathing. C is cardiac. Like CPR. So cardiac. So Dr. Walker follows the ABCs. She doesn't think of the ABCs, but she just does it. So she brings him downstairs and it's like, this dog's like, his collar's bad. He's like purple, blue, he's going to die impendingly, so she gets him on the table, the dog doesn't need any anesthesia, she opens up his mouth, and in the back of his throat is a ball. Oh, jeez. But the reason he wasn't dead, because the ball would cut off his whole oxygen supply, right? And it was like this big. So why wasn't the dog dead? What did the ball have in it? Oxygen? No. No. It did have oxygen in it, but how did it get oxygen through the ball? Maybe there's a hole in it. Yep, the ball had, the, you know those balls that have a one hole on this side and they have the hole on the other side? <laughs> the ball was stuck back in his windpipe, and when the ball would turn just enough, he could breathe through those two holes on either side of the ball. And then when he moved, he, the ball moved, it would stop him from breathing. <laughs> so it was on and off where he could breathe. And Dr. Walker just reached down there, grabbed the ball, plunked it out, and the dog woke up. And, walked out of the hospital oh. half an hour later. Um, but that's a, that's a case where the dog's almost dead, and if you don't, you know, follow. But everything's pretty much follow the rules, you know, and not that you should follow every rule in school, but following the rules of ABC, which, what, what everybody's taught, these are the basic things. The first thing you do is airway. Boom, open them up, and not listen to his, you know, a lot of times, what would you expect? You know, you come in, well, the doctor will get the stethoscope off, listen to his heart and all this stuff. Forget it. The dog's dying, you look. But for, and she never expected that. She was actually, when she looked down there, she was like, what the heck is that? 
you know, and then pull the ball out and the dog was, the dog was great. So there's a lot of cool stuff and a lot of fun stuff that you get to do. Um, you do get to see kittens and puppies and cats and dogs. And um, we do a lot of preventative medicine stuff, vaccinations, you know, checking for worms. We do cytologies. We do biopsies of stuff to find out what kind of cancers dogs have. We do chemotherapy. We do all that stuff. Do neutering. And neutering and spaying. Yep. Um, do you guys know what cytology is? Can you recognize that what's in that word that you might think about? Like, well, it's actually a C C word. It's not a P S Y. Um, it has to do with fluids in your body. So, what does ology mean? On any end of word. The study of. Oh, good job. The study of. So, cytology is the study of cells individual cells or fluid analysis and looking at the cells in that fluid. Um, and you can tell a lot by different cells. For instance, doctor, we had a cat that was in, the, uh, in surgery two days ago and it went in for a huge liver. The liver was big, we could see it on the x-rays, so we had to do an exploratory surgery. And the cat's liver didn't look good, the owner was contacted, they wanted to put the cat to sleep because it was not doing well. They put it to sleep. So you know what we did afterwards? We took a piece of the liver, yes, yes. cut it with a scalpel, and just took a glass slide, put the liver piece right on the glass side, and made it like kind of like a little, so it's wet and it makes a little bit of blood and tissue. And then it just dries off, it's very thin, little thin film, dry it off, stain it. And when we looked at it under the microscope, we could tell what kind of cancer that cat had in its liver. So we could actually go back in, in 10 minutes after they put the cat to sleep and tell that person they made the right decision because the cat was not going to recover. It had cancer in its liver, and it was a thing that was not going to get better. The cat would probably would have died like in a, maybe a week, about a week. Doctor, so we just need to have about a half hour. Okay. So, um, Jan. All right, what did I do with my jacket? Are you good at following direction? I hope so. I'll try. In my truck, which is parked right in the front, okay. it's a big white Chevy Silverado, mm -hmm. four doors, big doors. Mm -hmm. On the uh, passenger side, mm -hmm. just boop the booper, mm -hmm. and on the passenger side is a box, mm -hmm. and there's a towel over the box. Mm -hmm. I need the box, and I need the towel. Mm -hmm. Be careful with the box. Make sure nothing opens. Oh, so I'm going to do this first before I forget. So, you guys get a hint of the little under the So you can all open these, and you can keep them. So this is really interactive today. Get to open, I hope it's 10, because I bought 10, that's what they told me. Oh, man. Just right. right there. And I have one for the person who's not here. Okay. So there's that one. So you can have to open all those up. You got to put them together. Not too hard to put them together. Notice I didn't do them for you. I heard your mom's mad at me because I don't work Saturday mornings anymore. She did. She told me. Is it possible for like when the dog? Right, hang on. We got to hang on. We got to keep putting these together. Because Mrs. Barron's going to be back and no, I gotta make sure what she's bringing she's back doesn't get uh, upset. Yeah. What is it? She's doing that facial, facial. Right, doing well. Everybody's doing well. Oh, she's doing well. Right. Yep. You can go right at the bottom there. Okay. 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 So, everything's good, excellent, nice, nice. So, I want to show you this. When you put these on, okay, when you pick them up, see how they're just like this, they're straight in, like this? So you want to take them and just go like this. They'll just rotate so that they come like this, all right? 
And this is, now you would think like when you pick these up, you put them on like this. You put them on so that they face outward or else you won't be able to hear anything, okay? So you just go like this. And then you have to make sure it works, you can go. All right, so stick those on. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't hear anything in both ears, you have to just turn it a little bit. So put them on and you can adjust them. Can you hear me? Now keep in mind because you want to make sure both ears work. Okay. Just kind of tap that. Can so make sure both sides you can hear them, and if you need to adjust it, so you just want to go, just go like that, All right? So that's how they go on. That's good. Let me see yours. That's good. That's good. Those look good. Those look good. Those look good. And these are a little bit more. I'm just go like this. Now they're set. Because they get a set right in your ear canals. And then pick pick them up, put those on. That's good. They don't have to be even. Can you hear me? <laughs> okay. So what are we gonna listen to? The heart? The heart. Yeah, that's kind of a big one to listen to. You can listen to intestines, you can hear intestinal noises, but the heart is by far more fun. Alright, now we're just gonna wait for Mrs. Barron to come back. I just hope she doesn't get lost. That would not be good. <laughs> All right, let's go see where Jim is. Hopefully, he won't leave a specimen. <laughs> I had to make sure that he was all taken care of prior to him coming in. Thank you, Jan. So this is little Frank. His name is Frank? Yep. His name is Frank. And he's from uh, Anguilla in the Caribbean. And he came back with me about three weeks ago from a shelter. And he is the best little boy. Mm -hmm. And he loves everybody. He wants to be a baby. That's his only problem is that if you don't if you don't hold him, he like cries. Aww. He's like, why won't you hold me? But this is what Frank does all the time. I trained him when from the last three weeks I trained him every time I pick him up, he has to go and put his head under my neck. And he does this with everybody now. He snuggles. And I taught him to do this. Upside down, so they'll be submissive to people. And I tell them to put your little head in the corner. And he'll just lay here, and I'll rub his stomach, and he's like a baby. He just loves people. And he's about about ten weeks old now, or nine. And he came up from a shelter in one of the Caribbean islands, and he just loves it. He had five um, puppies that came up with him. All those are adopted out, and he is the last one who's waiting for a home. What kind is he adopted? He is not a kind. They're He's just dogs. Mixed dogs of dogs of dogs of yeah. dogs of dogs. Um, they are. I have Kaylee, who's four years old, that I brought up four years ago. These dogs have no problem. No skin problems. No nothing. Um, the purebreds uh, were in business forever with them, um, but the, the mixed breed dogs like this. Um, they never get You're like the Snoopies in the world, right? Like Snoopy's Snoopy, 16 years old. Yeah, this parent is a dog at 16. Oh, and she's a mutt. All right, so, where's the heart in the dog? In the thorax, right. So, we want to listen to the dog's heart, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and we can each, hopefully, he might pee, but we'll have to, uh, we'll have to get it wrapped up. Can you sit down, Frank? Is this the best dog or what? So, I'm going to show you how you put them on just like that. And then, can you hear me? Now, we're going to put it, remember, now you got to remember, if you weren't paying attention, remember where that heart was in the chest? you got to kind of think like, where was that heart in the chest, where's the, where's the dog, and what does that look like? It's fast. It's fast. How many, 
count how many beats it is in, a, in like 10 seconds, and I'll tell you when to go. All right, ready, set, go. Stop. 25. Okay, he did 25 in 10 seconds. So how many times per minute is that? Do the math, quick. <laughs> 25 in 10 seconds, so how many in a minute? Right. So he's making puppy noises. Now you have had lots of puppies. So you got that, that was good. So now that's the left side. And then if you listen to the right side, it sounds a little different. All right. Okay, we're just going to pass Frank right down. I'll make sure he doesn't fall off, but he is the best.